Hi, kids! Hmm, is anyone there? Oh, hi, Granny! Wow, that looks great! What is it? Um, what's going on? That is madness! Oh, I get it! How cool! It's a Jurassic Animalarium with lots and lots of animals that lived on Earth millions of years ago. And we have to build them! <laughs> it's super fun! And of course, we're going to rebuild a saber tooth! Whoops! Looks like this is broken, Granny! <laughs> it's happening again, Granny! Huh? It's a Cacerebral! A rare mix between Sabertooth, Triceratops and Squirrel! <laughs> Let's find the body and legs that match that head! Look at those teeth! It's a great hunter, but to hunt, it needs a sturdy body. Let's turn the panel. There it is, the saber-toothed body. Its muscles are very big and strong. It's like a tiger that goes to the gym. <laughs> and every feline needs its tail, so let's look for it. Beautiful specimen of saberatops, saber tooth and triceratops. It could work as a character in a scary movie. <laughs> but I don't think the saber tooth could walk very well with those legs. Let's keep looking. Um, Miss Squirrel, I think we found your tail. <laughs> Next. That tail doesn't look bad, but doesn't it look too small? I think it belongs to the mammoth. And it won't be bad for scaring away prehistoric flies. <laughs> Mr. Mammoth, there goes your tail. This tail seems to be a better fit. Shall we go over it? It has hair, yes. And it's much match the rest of the body. Plus, it's the perfect size. So, is it the right one? Yay! Yes. Yeah. Here we have our saber tooth. He's a beauty. Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> hey, what happened here, Granny? The saber tooth has to be rebuilt. <laughs> this is a square on my tops. Ceramoth Masatops Squizeramoth Trimoquirl Sequitops Mesoquirl Squaretooth Sameoquirl I don't even know what I'm saying! Oh, Granny! What if we ask the children what's happening? Do you know what happened, children? Is someone changing the panels? Spooky! I don't think Granny heard you. Let's say it louder. Hey, Spooky! What are you thinking about, Granny? Where are you going? Aha! She got you! It isn't lunchtime yet. Why don't we have a snack? What do you feel like, Kangu? An apple? A banana? Hmm. Or maybe strawberries? Or even better, a fruit smoothie with all of them. Hmm. Kids, 
Help Caddy, Kangoo, and Granny find huh? five fruits hidden in the background. Hmm. 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 I think I found the apples. Do you see them? Just need mm -hmm. to find one more. Mm. Hurry up! Time is almost up. Time's over. Here are the answers. There's the apples, then the strawberries, the pears, the bananas, and the oranges. <laughs> nice! Good job, kids! Smoothie time! Oh, wait! We don't have a blender. Mm. What can we do now? Mm. Kids, any ideas? <laughs> wow! Thanks, Kangoo! Thanks to you and the kids, we'll enjoy a healthy smoothie. <laughs> Today is cleanup day! Hello, nature! Goodbye, garbage! Each waste to its own container! Yes, monkey! I also thought milk bricks went in the paper container. But no, they go in the plastic one. <laughs> Did you hear that too? to the paper container and glass to the glass container. Easy, right? We're coming to you, little baby. Great teamwork. Just the way I like it. Glass bottle, a plastic lunchbox, a newspaper. Uh, my grandfather's clothes. Hmm. Oh. Huh. Caddy, 
You have to admit that it fits. Cardboard. Glass. Plastic. Pause. Girls and boys, do you know in which container Caddy has to throw that bottle of detergent? That's it. Into the plastic one. Oh, and pause. And what about those cardboards, girls and boys? Yeah. To the paper one. Come on, kids, let's go. Uh, let's rescue that baby more. Uh, uh, We're just finishing up. Where do milk bricks go? Uh, no! Remember the lesson. Milk bricks go into the plastic container. We did it! The Super Sue team has new allies. You can also be a member of the team if you respect nature and make sure everything is garbage free. <laughs> what a great day to be with our friends at home. And Christmas is coming! Have you thought about how you will decorate the house? <laughs> what a beautiful tree! Do you want to decorate yours like this one? Good! The first thing we need is the tree! This one could do it! And now, the balls and the rest of the ornaments! Be careful, kids! Okay, okay, we got them! There are so many ornaments! Shall we start? Great! The first thing we'll look for is five shiny red balls! Can you find them? There they are! One, two, three, four, and five! Now let's place them! Get on with the challenge! Now we have to find some yellow bells! We said yellow monkey! Are you sure? Yes! Let's place the bells! A monkey? What? Did you see that? Okay, let's continue decorating the tree. Finally, the bells are in place. Now, all that's left are the lights and the star. Kids, help us! You have to pay attention to the shapes of the lights. They are triangles. Well, even the Super Sue team isn't free of wire trouble. Nice throw, Granny! <laughs> and now let's finish it. Let's look for a gold star. Do you see it, girls and boys? There it is! That's it, Kangoo. Go put it up. Monkey, can you help us? Eh? <laughs> oh no! Here's the green spooky! What are you doing with that feather? <laughs> Ouch! Your 
is so bad, Dr. Spooky. There 
there are more and more dinosaurs. Let's count to see if there really are eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nine! Woo! I'm not sure if I can count to nine. Could you help me, kids? Great! Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Nine dinosaurs. And now, do you know what number comes after nine? Exactly! Ten! There are ten dinosaurs here. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is wonderful. I love dinosaurs. Come on, kids. We are going to count to ten. Granny, please give us a helping hand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We've done it. Thank you very much, Granny. And now, let's play with the numbers. How many mermaids do you see here? There are four mermaids. One, two, three, and four mermaids. How many unicorns do you see? There are two unicorns. That's it. One and two. And now, even harder! How many Martians do you see? Incredible! How did you know that? Yes! There are seven Martians! One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven! at home to remember the lesson. How many crayons do you have in your case? How many wheels does your bike have? There are so many things to count. Show everyone how well you've learned the numbers. See you next time. Bye-bye, kids. <laughs> this is awesome. Cowabunga! But what? What just happened? The ocean is drying up. Aha! Look out there. That's Dr. Spooky's robot. Let's tell the mermaids. Girls, you're not going to believe what... Oops. Okay, I think you noticed. How can you be so evil, Dr. Spooky? We have to do something, Super Zoo Team. There's the robot. If we unscrew that screw, the backpack will open and the water will flow back into the ocean. Great! To the transformation capsules! We're going
going to return the water to the ocean, Dr. Spooky. Get ready. What a good idea, monkey. He's really high up. He's carefully preparing. He's gaining momentum. Lots of momentum. And take off. What a great landing. Give us one of your drawings, Kangu. What a good idea. A tool to loosen the screw. Let's go, Kangu. That's it. Good job. Oh, no. What does that button do? Be careful, monkey. No! Kangu, you have to hurry up. Yeah, you did it, Kangu. <laughs> See you later, Dr. Spooky. But uh, where is Monkey? Oh, there he is. It seems he's been making some new friends. And there's Kangu. Hello again, my mermaid friends. We're happy you're okay. The ocean is perfect now for playing cards. But no cheating. I always play clean. I always play clean. Write that one down, Dr. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs>